I'm going to be giving you an attempt at looking through the Iris Vision uh, to show you some of the features. Now, bear in mind that the Iris Vision has two screens in view at any one time. So this is what's being seen through uh, the uh, from the the Samsung phone that's mounted in the Iris Vision headset. And so here we can see two images of the uh, of the of the clock there, and uh, of course one for each eye. They can be zoomed, and um, the way that's done is by swiping on the side of the VR headset. What I have to do here on this, uh, doing this manually, is I can actually zoom by swiping le uh, right to left or left to right. So here now we can get some tw up to twelve times zoom here. We can also demonstrate the bubble effect here. So what I do here is I swipe the other way and as you may be able to see there I've now had a small bubble that is magnifying just a very small part of the field of view with the rest of the field unmagnified. So that's adjusted by a swipe and I can find a point where for example here I can see magnified a uh, portion of the clock as I move around I can magnify other parts of the clock, but the surrounding field of view is actually um, still uh, one times magnification, which gives us a sense of context. Now there are some other views. We can have what's called a bioptic view, which is unmagnified below, but a magnified lens at the top. So you turn your eyes up slightly and you have a magnified view. Reading. We have a reading view, which is a high contrast view, black and white, Reading inverted, white on black. Reading line. A reading line, which is like a magnified ruler, again for context. Reading green. Green to apply a filter. Reading yellow. Yellow. Focus. And the back to the focus. So these are the, the sorts of things we can achieve with the Iris Vision for distance magnification, but also for closer things like reading.